everybody. It's, it's, it's just, just here, here and, and got, got it. it. Mr. Mr. Kitten here. I know, I know when, when I used to do my lives, lives um, before, before everybody, everybody used to love, love um, hearing, hearing Kate in his commentary. So, so he's yeah, back. Yay. Yay. Um, um, welcome, welcome to World of Heart 2020, 2020 event. event. So, so excited, excited about, about this event. event. I'm, I'm very, very I'm blessed, blessed to be here. here. Thanks so, so much, much for Tiffany for, for allowing, allowing me to, to be, be here today. today. Um, I, did I did a lot of, lot of preparation, preparation for this, this um, project. project. Obviously, Obviously, you can see, I'm not sure, sure if you can see everything around, around my station. station. But, but um, I, have I have a lot, lot of little, little bits and bobs and pieces, pieces that I'm, I'm adding here. here. I did I leave work, work obviously, to be able to take, take up the time. time. Um, but I really, I, really, I first, first of all, would like, like to thank, thank Tiffany and, and all of our awesome sponsors, sponsors for, for, for being, being able, able to sponsor some prizes for us. Yeah, so, exactly. thank, you thank you very, very much, guys. And there's an echo. I heard something about an echo. There's an echo? Echo, echo, echo. <laughs> Miss Organized Crafter, Miss Nelly, and a few other people all said hi. Hey, girls. I am making a, um, a mixed media canvas today. It, I'm using the opposite side of the canvas, the inside part of it, um, to, to add a little bit of, of, of the 3D effect. Um, I do have the frames. I'm using all three of the frames from the Prima Marketing um, mold. Um, so I'm using all three of those frames today. I'm going to start off with kind of explaining what I did. If Caden has anything to say, he'll like raise his hand at me and be like, "Hey, I got some. What's up?" I am here, Miss Tiffany. Yes. Uh, Miss Miss Ryan, Miss Tiffany, are both here. Yay! Uh, All right. So I other people, I want to let you know what I did with the um, with the Prima marketing frames. What I did is, is I went ahead and laid down a layer of white gesso, and then I made my own texture paste. Um, I made it out of some sawdust. I made sawdust, a little bit of tacky glue, and green paint, a couple of different colors of green paint, because I wanted it to, I wanted the texture to actually complement the green in the flowers here. So I had to make my own texture paste just for this specific project. So just FYI, that's how I made the texture paste. Um, and then I, I just laid down a layer of black paint and I splattered it with Finnebear's green paint. Let's see. I actually put that back. I don't know why I put it back. Miss Annika said hello from Denmark. Hello, hello. Uh, Sorry, I had to get up. And it's RJ, not Miss Ryan. Oh, it's RJ. Hey, what's up, RJ? I used the, um, the, the Finnebear green. It, it's called... Dragonfly. That's the paint that I used to splatter the back of the canvas. So now that I at least have the beginning steps done, um, I did. I have used some chipboard from Creative Embellishments, which I used this embossing powder for. So there's that. There are two different colors out of this bright green. And crazy, right? So I, what I did with this is I um, I used a sharpie marker on just a white piece of circle paper and to, to show the difference of this embossing powder. Miss Penny Van, I'm going to go and says hi. Hey. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome. Thank you for she, coming. She pinged you and said, at matter of press hi. <laughs> All right. All right. So to start off with, I want, I'm going, let's see. I'm using the, these flowers. I don't know because they're kind of off on the side. So I want to bring in some brown into the canvas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take all my little my pieces, and I'm going to use some of Finnebear's texture paste. It's it's called just brown. It's just regular brown texture paste, and I'm going to go along the edges of the canvas with it, and I'm going to use one of my little sponges to kind of to put it on. That's what we're gonna. Yes, I'm a little nervous. It's been um, months since Caden, Caden and I have done a live, so I'm a little nervous. So <laughs> I don't know if you can't tell in my um, voice or not, but I am. <laughs> so I'm just taking this this brush, and looks like my paste is a little dry, Ms. which which happens. Hey, what's up, Miss Erin? Thanks for coming in. 
so I'm trying to make sure that the canvas is in the in the view of the camera. So what I'm doing is I'm literally just taking this. I need to bring it in. Yeah, bring it for you. I don't know. This is not work. It's not. It's a, the texture paste is a little thick. I remember when Tiffany was doing her live earlier today. She she was saying the same exact thing. Like I love Finnevere's products, I do, but the texture pastes do tend to kind of dry up and thicken. So, but all you have to do is add just a little bit of water to the texture paste and it, yeah, it works. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding a little bit of water to it. So that way I can distress the edges of my canvas a little better. So I'm going to do the canvas this way because I think that's gonna be in the, in the view of the camera a little better. So that way you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. And by the way, this canvas is a repurposed canvas. There was originally red on the other side. So I painted that black as well as the back. So that way it's all kind of cohesive, if that makes sense. RJ is leaving. So me and mom got to sign off. Bye. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you for, for popping in. Hey, do, do, make sure to tell your mom I said hi. <laughs> but yes, I do like to prep a lot of my projects beforehand, so that way you guys aren't like, what is, you know, it, what's taking so long, all, all the prep work and everything. So I try to get a, a lot of things kind of prepped for you guys, so you're not just sitting there like, okay, how long is she going to take painting this thing? <laughs> so I'm just dipping that in. I'm hoping I'm staying in the view of the camera. It's a little messy, but it'll work. It'll work. I, I am kind of doing a larger canvas too. Um, so it's a little harder to keep it in the view of the camera because it is a larger canvas. I think it's like 16 inches or something long. So, and my camera is like really high above. So, so you know it's definitely a larger piece <laughs> if it's that difficult to keep it in the camera. Miss Wendy thinks it's relaxing to watch you paint. Oh, see? Proved me wrong. Proved me wrong. <laughs> so, I'm just going around the edges. Like I said, I didn't want to get everything done because then I would have a hard time. To taking up the full hour, the full hour. So that's why I went ahead and took the time to explain what I did first and then go from there. But I, I, I'm just just trying to distress the edges up so that way the, the flowers um, come together, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Sorry, it's I know I'm probably looking a little awkward in the camera, aren't I? I apologize. But I thank everybody for for coming along and watching all the videos today. I, I, I have watched every video myself and tried to comment whenever I could. You might not believe me, but I was frantically running around this morning trying to figure out what I was doing today. I was like, oh my goodness, what am I doing? So yeah, I, I just came up with this project this, well, I started around 1030 this morning, 1030 Eastern Standard Time, starting to kind of to figure out what flowers I was going to use, that was the first step. So that way I knew what colors to kind of make the canvas. So that way everything is cohesive. All right. I think we are all the way around the canvas now. Just want to make sure I get enough distress everywhere. I was thinking of going ahead and doing the inside ed edges as well. What do you guys think? I'm thinking that might help a lot. And that will pro that probably won't take oh, wow. as much time. Miss Carol said it took her eight minutes to get on here. Crazy. Eight minutes to get on to the live? I guess so. Weird. I wonder what that was about. I know I might be going off camera a little bit. I apologize. Like I said, this canvas is um, a larger canvas than what I would normally work on in a live, but I didn't have really a smaller canvas to work with. So, and all the other canvases I have are even bigger than this one. <laughs> they're, they're massive. So I, I, I do um, a lot of larger pieces as well as, as home decor for my house. So 
yeah, a lot of the smaller canvases got taken up and were, were used as Christmas gifts. And I just haven't had the chance to restock on my eight and a half by 11s and my, my smaller canvases. So yeah, we're working on a larger piece today. Any questions or anything like that? Everybody's doing good, enjoying the event so far. I think it's been really awesome. There have been some awesome crafters today. There have been, there was one crafter today that um, I watched that I, I had never seen before. I think she came on a after Miss Nellie. So that was pretty cool. I really liked her, her car, her masculine steampunk like card that she made with the light bulbs and everything. That was really kind of cool. So um, has anybody had like a favorite project? Well, I probably shouldn't say that, huh? Shouldn't ask that question. <laughs> Martha Townsend, Townsend, I don't know how to pronounce it. So she's enjoying the learning curves. Yes, there's lots of, like with mixed media, there really is no way to go wrong. I think I'm good on the distressing. I think I... I think this it is good. Like, it looks like it's weathered away at the edges. At the edges, yep, to, to kind of to go with the flowers there. And I was also going to use some of Finnebear's wax. I thought about using some of the rusty brown wax to kind of go on the edges too. Um, I'm not sure. Let's try it out. Let, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I can try it on a little corner and see if I like it. And if I don't, here, let's put it in the view of the camera here. I don't know how to pronounce their name, but they just subscribed Happy Face Showing Teeth. So Yay. thank you. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate the support. I really, really do. I don't know. I kind of like that because this color goes really well with that flower. I hope you guys can see it pretty well. Um, I think it really accents that flower a lot. You can't see it very well, though. I will say it's kind of hard to see. I'm not going to lie about that. It is not an easy color to see. It's easier to, um, to view up front or up close. Maybe I can, in just a second, kind of show you what it looks like. Maybe, hopefully, you can see it. Can you see kind of where it's like a... Um, gray kind of brown color there on the edges you can barely kind of see it there but it works I like it I like it I think I'm just gonna distress the edges a little bit with that and that will do the edges because I kind of I, I want to tie in that brownie color as well in the flower so Miss Karen I am her son she said, now that now we know to ask, is that your hubby or son? I don't know if she was talking to you, but I'm going to go with it. Miss <laughs> um, Karen. Are, are, are you talk, are, is she yeah. asking about you? I think so. Well, tell her. I'm her son. I'm Caden. Yes, he is also 14. I know Miss uh, <laughs> Aaron had her son helping her as well, and they're Yep, he is 14 too, and, and and he also enjoys reading. So they have a, actually have a lot in common, because <laughs> he is a reader too. He loves to read. Miss, I'm just finishing up with the corners. I am Caden, not Jaden. <laughs> yes, he is Caden with the C. Caden with the C. Miss Carol says it looks like an old wooden screen door. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's good thinking. I didn't think about it like that. It kind of does, doesn't it? See, we all come up with some like cool ideas and see, I didn't think about that. So here's this. I think I am done with that. Okay. All right. I'm going to put the lid on this, I think. And I originally, I started playing around with the wax because I, I used um, my texture paste on the um, molds here. And then I used some of the brown wax on top of it. So I was thinking of doing that. And I think that's what I'm going to do with all of those molds. So real quick, we're going to do that before we 
get too much further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this larger canvas to the side and we're going to put all of our pieces in here in the middle. All of our pieces that I have put texture paste on. I've got some wings, I've got some cogs and gears, I've got um, frames, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> I'm gonna be a rapper before you know it. <laughs> just teasing. <laughs> I could never be a rapper, even if I tried. So now I'm just taking some of the wax and I'm, I'm distressing the um, top layers of it, just with my finger. Just um, with my finger here. Miss Martha loves the filigree side pieces. Oh, thank you. Yes, th th those are our molds from um, Prima. Miss Cynthia says they're kind of trapped, though. I don't know. They're kind of what? Nah. She said they're kind of trapped, though, lol. I don't know if she was talking about this, though. Trapped? I'm not sure. It's okay. I'm not sure. Artistically Creative says it's golden. Make it Thank so you! Cute. I'm going to use this brush, and, or this, um... Paint dauber, I think is what they call them. A paint dauber, mm. just to kind of go over it so it's a little quicker. Let me put it that way. Quicker. Quicker is the best word to use. Mm. So it's a little quicker she than using about the children. The sun is never hoping. They're trapped. Oh, the sons are trapped. The in the house. Oh, yes, they are trapped. But mine, um, he, he usually helps with all, all my lives. I haven't really been doing lives for the past almost six months now. What do you think, bud? Pro it's since, uh, yes, no, it's since uh, October. That's the last live we did. Yeah, it's been a while. I, I, I think I kind of burnt myself out on it. I did so many YouTube videos around Halloween. I'm not going to lie to you guys and say, you know, one thing or the other, that's really what it came down to, is I, I burnt myself out around Halloween time. And that's my own fault. I, I signed up for too much stuff, and I should have just, yeah. So I burnt myself out. <laughs> but what I'm doing with the wax is I've got a piece of um, paper towel here, and I'm just kind of dabbing off the, the excess so that way I don't get like a clump of it on my actual mold piece because I've done that before. Oh man. And I was like, no. So just FYI, um, or something I used to do too is when I did use my fingers, I would put the excess like on my palm right here and then do it on the mold. So there are a couple different ways you can go about doing that. Rustic Ink Angel Design says, where is the filigree from, please? Are, uh, um, are, are you talking about the, uh, about the chipboard? Filigree. Um, that's, I, that's the only filigree I think, I mean, I have gears and I have the mold, the frames, the, the, the frames are a, a prima mold, and then the chipboard is from Creative Embellishments. It's chipboard. So I, I hope that answers that question. Yeah. Uh, Miss Nellie actually answered. I'm sorry. She said, I believe the filigree is, from, is chipboard from Creative Embellishment. So yeah. Yep. So yeah. Perfect. Good. Thank you, Miss Nellie. Yes. The um, filigree is, yes, it's a corner piece. And they're huge, actually. They are huge. We forgot to turn the fan off. <laughs> You want to turn it off? I don't know. Um, can anyone hear my fan? Is it bothering you guys? Like, I'm not real sure. I'll I'll hear from you guys and see if it's bothering anyone or if you guys can even hear it. <laughs> Miss Nellie said she's trying to stay on top of it. On top of the chat. The, thank you very much for your help, Miss Nellie. Thank you. Thank you everyone for coming too. I really appreciate your support. I, I know Miss Tiffany does. She's put a lot of work into these events and to getting a hold of the fabulous sponsors that we have for this event as well. Um, yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate 
you thinking of me or in, in having me. It's 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 an absolute honor to be able to be um, on this event with some fabulous fellow artists. Thank you so much. I'm just blessed to be here. I'm blessed to be alive, to be honest, you know, and have a, a day to be able to come around with friends and and just craft and enjoy other people's crafts. It's It's been a really great day. It really, really has. It's been a very eventful day, for sure. Fans did that. Okay, cool. All right, so I think we've got our um, molds and everything distressed. I hadn't planned on... Um, on using any um, of the distressor on any of the chipboard pieces because I, I wanted to go ahead and keep those kind of clean and bright and green to match with the flowers, the um, innards of the flowers here. But I wanted to go ahead and, and distress all the molds. So. Um, good tip. What? If anyone wants to leave a tip. Okay. They can use the link. It should work, I hope. All right, so now I have to move all of my pieces around yeah, and about. It worked, so yeah. Sweet. All right. So now we've got our piece. I hope that's back in the middle. If it's not, Caden will tell me. Good. And we're going to start. I'm going to use tacky glue. I do have the Fabri-Tac, but I don't know. My go-to is, is tacky glue. So... I'm going to start laying down a few of my pieces, like my frames and so forth. So that's what I'm going to start doing. I know it's a little ugly on the back, but, you know, it was worth it all in the long run. I know I may be off camera a little bit with this, but I don't know that you want to see all the ugly on the back of the, <laughs> on the back of the frame here. Artistically creative says it's her go, her, I don't know, go to, too. Yes, I love tacky glue. I, I've been using it for years now, honestly. I just recently, within the past, I don't know, year, um, used some some Fabri-Tac. So, I mean, I like Fabri-Tac too. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I have no problem with Fabri-Tac. I, I just bought some like, like a month ago. So, obviously, I like it. I just I just tend to use tacky glue. So, I, meh. <laughs> So there's my first mold, and then here's this mold, and this um this mold by Prima, um it has three different sizes in it, and I'm using all all three sides. So, just putting that out there. I do have the mold around here somewhere. I think I put it away the other day. Um, Miss Penny says thank you and the rest of the artists in the hot this year. You know, it's taking the time to bring us lovely projects in a time we really need beauty in life. Absolutely. Well said, Penny. That was perfectly said. I love it. Very well said. Good job. Perfect, perfect. Then the um, hot air balloon is obviously going to go in the middle there. Um, wait, did we do the right? Yeah, we did the right hot air balloon. I was spazzing out there for a second. I don't know what was wrong with me. And the reason we're using the hot air balloon is in be because in this flower, there are hot air balloons in the flower. So the hot air balloon comes into play when it comes to the flower. I know you're probably thinking, green, brown, what? This isn't working. But I promise, when it's all said and done, it should come together very nicely. <laughs> this penny so cute. So there's that. And I have my wings, because my wings were going to go like this around the hot air balloon, is basically what they were going to do right here, is like that. That's how that was. Like I said, originally, this was on the other side of the canvas, it, but it was a mess, so I had, to, <laughs> I had to change it up a little bit. So next, we're going to take our lovely chipboard pieces, and we're going to put some glue on those, because they are going to accent the corners of the canvas here. So that's how those are going to go. Miss Nelly said, thanks for all the thumbs up and subs. I know Matter of Craft appreciates it. We all do, XOXO. Yes, absolutely. We all appreciate all of the support from everyone today. Thank you for coming and being with us today. I know everyone appreciates it, especially when it's such a large event like this. You know, there's so many people. 
Um, I know I've gone, I've gone to every video all day today and tried to comment, like I said, when I could. And yep, just to make sure that, that they know that I was here and I'm supporting them. And even though I was frantically running around most of the morning trying to get, um, trying to get this project together for you guys. Because I did not, normally I'm a very, um, like, ahead of the game. Like, I like to have everything kind of done. But I, I just, yeah, I didn't get to that this time. I didn't do it this time. Yes. So that was a fail. A, oh, no. Um, a little bit of a failure on my part there. Miss Tiffany uh, gave us a tip. Oh, Thank you. Thank you, Miss Tiffany. Thank you. We really appreciate it. I know Caden does, too. Because I do, despite what, sorry, I know I might be off screen, but I'm just putting some glue on the back of this. Um, it's a very intricate piece of chipboard, so it's taking me a little bit of time to get all the glue on it, so that way it stays. So this is going to be the first one. It is kind of a delicate one, so do, do, uh, do. Let's see, let's see. I think this is coming, there we go, there we go. Putting that there, just like that. Oh, Miss Nellie also tipped. Oh, thank you, ladies. Just because you're awesome. Thank you for the support. Uh, what I was saying is like, I do pay, I, I do tend to pay Caden, especially when um, we were doing our lives like every week. I did give him a bit of a stipend, so. I mean, not that he doesn't enjoy it. He, he actually does enjoy um, doing the lives with me. I know you're probably thinking she's just saying that, but I'm really not. I'm, unless you want to tell him, Caden. <laughs> no, I'm good. You're good. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make a liar out of me. Anyways. <laughs> but, yeah. We really enjoy doing our lives. We used to do them every week at um, Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But since we moved and everything, it's just it was just really hard to get back into the swing of it. And with the whole October thing, like I was saying, it just kind of got a little, a little wacky. Um, someone can't see the template, tip link, so I'm going to repost it one more time. Okay. Go right ahead, buddy. So this frame is supposed to go down here. And the flowers are going to accent the... Um, as they're going to accent the chipboard here. So what I'm thinking is I might wait to place this frame until a little bit later when I start placing down the flowers. So that way the frame, it, it, it doesn't get lost. I don't want it to get lost in with the flowers. So first I'm going to go ahead and um, glue this other corner piece. Which corner is it going? Uh, oh. One, it, 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 um, it, it's the chipboard. There's one in this corner and there's one in that corner. Okay. So I know I, like I said, I know I'm kind of, yeah. it's kind Maybe. of hard to keep, um, keep all of this in camera because it is, it is a large canvas. Um, I think it's like I was saying earlier, I think it's like 16 inches by, I don't know, eight or 10. I'm not real sure. I'd have to get, um, a ruler out to actually um, figure out what size it is, <laughs> but I know it's, it's really big. Cause I normally, when I do lives, when I have done lives and I do canvases, it's normally a, um, eight and a half by 11 at most eight by 10 actually. So this is a very large piece and it's hard to, it's, yeah, I have to make sure it's basically in the middle of the screen because that, and my camera is up really high. So just it's to, really I just to give you an idea, it's it's yeah. All right, that should be good. So now I'm going to piece that one. Hopefully that is right back in the middle again. Good. Okay. I'm gonna piece this one right here. And the first thing that I did when I was putting this canvas together was I I, I chose my flowers. It was the very first thing I did. So that way I, I knew what like accent colors that I would be using on the on the canvas in general. So, and now I'm just taking one of my old brushes. It's kind of hard. Obviously, it's like really hard. And any of the excess glue, I'm just kind of getting a hold of the excess glue and taking off that. I mean, even though it'll dry clear, I mean, it will dry clear, but I figure why not if I can. 
get rid of the excess. So now all of that is down. Hope I'm not boring any of you. Like I said, I'm a little nervous. I haven't done <laughs> haven't done a live in quite some time, so I'm a little <laughs> nervous myself. So, but now we're getting there. We're actually uh, how much time has passed by? Uh, we're halfway through actually. Half an hour. That should be just about perfect actually. All right. So these are the flowers I'm using. Miss um, Penny is having fun. Yay. Good, good. I'm not boring anybody. <laughs> um, so now we are piecing this together. So it goes like this. Okay. I just had to piece it all. I'm like, mm, where is it all going? This is how it's going. So that's going to be the flowers there. And like I said, I didn't want to place this frame down yet until I knew how much space I, yeah, where I kind of needed to place that last frame. So it looks like it's going to be about kind of where I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, so those flowers are going to go there. And then I've got some much larger flowers over here. And I've got some gears and stuff that I obviously am going to be placing down. So I think it's about time to place down my doo -doo wings and um, hot air balloon. I couldn't think of the word there for a second. I was like, mm, what is this thing? <laughs> Hot air balloon. So I'm just going to put some glue kind of at the top and the bottom because obviously the rest of it is um, coming. It's, it's going to be off of, off of the canvas, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. And tacky glue works like glue. It's crazy. I love tacky glue. Miss. Heather Doodlebug says, you're doing awesome, girl. Love what you're making. Thank you. It's definitely a lot different than what I usually make, if that, I don't know. It's, okay, the color palette. That's what I'm going to say. The color palette, I have never worked with a color palette like this before. And that was probably one of the reasons why it was kind of difficult for me was because I have never worked with this color palette. Did you want to say something, buddy? No, nope. oh, I so. thought you, I thought you were, you know, like, mm, let me say something. All right, so now I'm just using some tacky glue on the corner of my wings here because that's where they're gonna be adhesed to the chipboard here and to the side of the frame right here. So so, this is, so there's no need to waste any of your glue on the middle of, of your mold. Don't worry about me. So I'm just gonna put it right here. And that's one reason I know I've like said it and probably more than once you guys are probably tired of hearing me say it, but that's one of the reasons why I love tacky glue so much is it, once it's on it's and it's dry, it's, it's good to go. It is good to go. I love this stuff. Oh, I, 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 I know Fabri-Tac is the same, though, is the same. I've just, I guess I've just used Tacky Glue for so many years now that I'm, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think I might have misplaced my wing a little bit. All right, I'm back. I don't think they realized you were gone. I know. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I kind of fumbled there with my glue. Rustic Ink Angel Design says, this looks absolutely gorgeous so far, golly. Love it. Thank you. I'm a little apprehensive about it, I guess, because like I said, I've never worked with this color palette ever. The, the, the greens and browns type stuff and, and, and the matte waxes. This is actually one of the first times I've really worked with the matte waxes. So <clears throat> I'm not accustomed to those either, I guess you could say. So now, since we've got these down, we've got our centerpiece down, we're going to start bringing over our other flowers, our main flowers here. I did kind of have them set up um, how I, I wanted them placed. Cool little thing about this flower is I took it apart. It was originally this flower and a couple pieces of the other flowers, this one, and not this one because I'm using the rose. But what I did was I took apart these two flowers because I have two more of these and I, I layered them. 
So that way I could use them all, but not have too much of the same flower, if that makes sense. So that's that's how I made that flower. It doesn't it doesn't come like that. That's a custom flower right there. Miss <laughs> Karen says it's very very beautiful. She loves hot air, hot air balloons. Hot air balloons are so inspiring, aren't they? And it's just, there's mm. just something about hot air balloons that are inspiring. Miss Nellie said, uh, "Wonder where those waxes came from." <laughs> I know. I almost said something. Um, I, I recently, about a, a month and a half ago, got a new got a job in the healthcare industry. So, some of you might know that I was a college student for about five years, and I just I, I graduated in December. So I finally got a healthcare job. Yay! I'm not in the service industry anymore. I'm I'm grateful for that. Not that I, you know, wasn't grateful to have a job. It's just I'm. I'm grateful to not, you know, be doing, I'm not trying to say anything bad. I hope that didn't sound bad, guys. That's not how I meant that. But my point is, is she got all the, the, the mat waxes for me as a congratulatory gift on, on working hard at school and, um, and getting a job. <laughs> Miss Nelly said, I was and still am so proud of you. You're amazing. I love you. I love you, I love you. So there's that one. There's going to be this one here. I'm layering my flowers, so that one's gonna go underneath there. Um, then this flower here is gonna go underneath here. So it's gonna be like a layer effect. Like I said, originally I was working on the opposite side of this canvas, but I had some fumbles and jumbles with that. Um, I can probably pull the picture up on my camera and show you. I don't think that's going to work. I'm not sure if it's if you're going to be able to see it or not. I've got some um, notifications popping up. Can you see the picture I'm showing you? Towards me. Towards you? I don't know if you guys can see the picture. But as you see, the point is, is the canvas is red, right? That was the original color of the canvas. So I went to paint it black. Cool. No problem. Then I went to add some texture paste on it. And unfortunately, when I added the texture paste on it, it soaked in that red color and it did not look anything like what I had, how I had originally planned it. So I was like, uh Oh, back up and punt. I was like, I don't have, <clears throat> and I didn't have another canvas this size to work with the embellishments I had already created. So I had to, you know, I had to make it work. I had to make it work. Sometimes as artists, that's what we have to do. We just have to figure out a way and we just have to make it work. I think I'm moving my wings a bit here. Sorry, because I'm moving my, I'm working with my flowers. So I'm moving my wings. So, so my point is, is my canvas is smaller than it originally was as well. Like I originally had more space. So that was one of the reasons why I had to work with this frame and figure out where I was going to be putting this frame so it didn't get lost in the piece. <laughs> uh, Miss Laurel, I'm pretty sure. Don't, worry, don't, yeah. Uh, says, uh, love the wings on that balloon. Oops, balloon. Oh my God, balloon. It was <laughs> really fast. Though. Well, thank you. I think it worked out really well. I think the wings kind of tie in with the um scene i guess you could say so and then i had um some go ahead go ahead i'm just gonna call them arc but it's art artistically creative yes i know uh, exactly who you're talking about you said red was too much but love this one much better um, i know it was wasn't it it was like oh man it was not working it was not working it was i was like okay i gotta figure something else out this is like gonna, gonna work um so i'm liking it so far i feel like it's missing something um oh yeah that's right <laughs> i was having a butterfly right here ha huh. i was like i know something's uh, missing i know something is terribly off here Karen that's what was off fan. hmm Karen, Karen, isn't a red fan. A red? Yeah. Red is a very dominant color. It's an extremely dominant color. It is not an easy color to work with. 
as far as, you know, artists and so forth, it's, yeah, it's definitely not one of those easy colors to work with. So I'm just taking a piece of cardboard, which I'm finding out is actually a little too big. It's like just a tad too long. So that way I can pop it up um, in between these wings here. Um, sorry. They yeah, said, go ahead. Uh, said, I'm Trudy Newman. Did I spell your name correctly? It's with a Y, actually. C-A-Y. So oh, yes. It's close enough, but it's, yeah. I don't, I'm not bothered by it much. Anyways, no. continue. All right, so there's the butterfly that goes there that ties that in. That's what was kind of creeping me out. They're not really creeping me out, but like throwing me for a loop. I'm like, wait a second, something's not right here. It's not right. <coughs> so originally I had this gear here, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do now. I don't think I'm, because my canvas has gone down in size. What's up? People love the butterflies. I know it looks perfect, didn't it? It's That's what was missing right there. I was like, something is so wrong. What's wrong? And that's what was wrong. <laughs> that's what was wrong. What's up? What? What's up, buddy? Two people. Both said. Yes! <laughs> there you go. And so that gear is going to go there. Caden loves to say that. he lo It's it's just, it's his thing. Whenever we do our lives, that is totally his thing. We haven't done a live where it hasn't happened. And in and and quite some time, I know. We were talking about that. So those are where those gears go. The small gears are supposed to go, like, over there. See, so it's coming together. How much time do we have left, buddy? Uh, it's 540. Hold on. We got to get moving. It's 542. Oh, um, holy moly. Okay. So Miss Belinda, Belinda Waters said, this is a dream state flight creation for sure. Aw, thank you. That means a lot. Thank you, thank you. I was so nervous about this piece because, like I said, it is not a color palette I am accustomed to working with. I am browns and and green like the, it just did I was like oh, what am I gonna do but I liked the flowers I really wanted to use the flowers and the flowers were my inspiration to be honest it all came from the flowers the, the color palette of the flowers I know can I say flowers again oh my gosh <laughs> Miss Tiffany tipped you again but that's for graduating congrats oh thank you worked very hard you can ask Caden it, it's it's not easy, you know, being, I, I'm, I'm sure you know now, especially um, with your kids home and everything, it's not easy juggling everything. And it's time management. That was one thing I had, I told, <clears throat> my mom was always like, I don't know how you do everything that you do between the design teams and creating. And now I, I'm really, <clears throat> really into planning. I've been planning a lot. Um, and my mom's like, I, I don't, She's like, I don't know how you do it. And it's just like, it's all time management, Mom. That's, 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 all, that's all it is. It's just managing my time and making sure I use my time wisely. That's really where it comes down. That's, that's, where it, that's what it comes down to, is time management. So there's that. And then this flower is going to go right underneath there, right? I'm making, I'm trying to get through this. I realize now we only have 15 minutes left. Um, so now I'm trying to dee, 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 get it all done. I can't remember her name. Hold on one second. Uh, don't worry. Miss Trudy said, planning or planting? I am a planner. I like to plan. I have a green thumb. Forget about it. No, no. I wish I did. My mom, on the other hand, oh, wow. She, she has a total green thumb. I wish I had the patience and everything that goes into planting. Um, Miss Nellie has some beautiful plants. She, she takes care of some really pretty plants. She says, what do you plan slash plant? I, um, I, I, I have a planner and I, I do have a, a matter of plans, um, uh, Facebook and Instagram page. So, and, and I am on a PR team. So, so um, a planning design team. Oh, wait, you know what? That gear, I can totally use it there. What do you guys think? 
I just came up with this idea just on the, like, literally just now. Just now came up with it. <laughs> I wonder, is that going to work? What do you guys think? Miss Nellie said, I'm crazy plant lady, I admit. You, you're not a crazy plant lady, but you have some beautiful plants. Your leaves and everything, the way you take care of everything. Those are the quite best beautiful. ideas. She said those are the best ideas. What are the best ideas? Those. I don't know. You said some about ideas, I guess. I can't remember. Hmm. Well, shoot a bug. Okay. And then these flowers originally were here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to use them there now. So... I'm thinking, hmm, what do you think? Maybe I should use one here and this corner with this gear. Gears up top is a great idea. Yeah, I literally, that just came to my mind. Like, I was like, oh, wait, I can cover this. Miss Wendy, it's shoot a bug with, like, two O's. <laughs> I did say shoot a bug. I did. I totally sh shoot a bug. Like, I don't actually shoot bugs, so don't get me wrong. I'm not a bug killer. I don't kill bugs, but because bugs have a have a purpose, you know they do. They really have a purpose. Uh, Miss Cynthia said, "Small flower in top gear." I guess put a small flower in. Oh, top small gear. flower on top of the gear. I gotcha. Do you have a small flower? Um, I would totally have to go over to my flowers. Um, Where's your flowers? I have flowers over there. All the, like the brown flowers. There, yeah. That's one reason why I guess it's good to have certain things out and about. So I guess I can go ahead and just put that frame there. I'm pretty much done. This just, I all of a sudden just came up with this idea. So I think I'm going to do that. I, um, no, uh, um, I, I have, Lena's flowers are over there up top. Oh, big brain of me. So let me go ahead and glue these flowers down because we do ha have Miss Nikki next. Um, her link is at the it's um in my description box. It's towards the top of it. So at um at at six o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I believe that is three o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Um, she will be going live. So, I am pretty much done here. I feel like I need to add a quote. I do have a piece of metal that um I have put aside here that I think I might use. I didn't know if I was going to use it or not. I feel like this needs to set up a piece of cardboard um, to keep it level. So I'm just gonna cut off a piece of cardboard here. Who's at 6 p.m.? Um, so that is it, Karen asked. Uh, I'm Nikki. Her link is also down um, below in, in my description box. All right, that's a little, that's too big. So I'm going to cut it off again. And I think that works just perfectly there. And I've already got my glue stash down there. So then that gear is going to sit nice and flat like, so it's not, you know, yeah. kind of tapering off there. So there's that. And I'm going to get this glued down as well. Just tap it a little bit. This is a brand new bottle of tacky glue. So it is coming out much nicer and smoother than I am used to. So when you have a new bottle of glue, one of my favorite little things to do is to take the, and just kind of go on a piece of like paper towel or, you know, if you have a junk piece of paper laying around and just to kind of take off some of that excess of that glue so it doesn't smush out on your, on your piece and then you're going behind and so forth and getting all that excess glue out. So. I did have a quote. Yes, I have a quote by Finnevere. It's a metal. It says, it's never too late to start now. I did. I do have that quote. I thought about adding it somewhere, but I don't know that the color of it really works. I realize I could use wax or something with it, um, but I'm not sure if I really have that much time or enough time, shall I say to do that. I was thinking of adding these gears on that corner. Yep, that's going to be it. Um, Miss Heather just said, no, can't hear fan. Oh, does that mean you can hear it? Oh, okay, no, you can't. can't okay. Hear For some reason, I thought you were being sarcastic. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> so, yes, Ms. there is... Yeah, go ahead. Miss Cynthia says, hope you do a huge molds project. 
Oh, a, a molds. This is a pretty. There's a lot of molds on here. Did you find the here. small flower you needed? No, I never found the small flower. There's flowers I, right there. Are um, these the right ones? Let me go over here. Let's see. I've got some small brown flowers here. I know you guys probably can't hear me. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I have some small flowers here that maybe I could add. Um, I know it's almost time for Miss Nikki to go, so um, I'm going to kind of frantically pull out some flowers. Yeah, great idea. I can't remember who said it, but that's an awesome idea. Thank you so much. Miss Carrie. Miss Carrie. We'll Miss Carrie? On. Thank you, Miss Carrie. Miss Heather says she's a new subscriber, too. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, yay, yay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm going, since I'm adding a flower here, I'm going to go ahead and tie in this flower in these little corners here. So that way it doesn't look like there's one just random flower. Like, that's a different flower. So is Miss Cynthia. No. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for joining our event today. It has been an awesome day, hasn't it? It has been such an inspiring day. I, I, I've learned some things, too, from some of our, our fellow crafters as well so that will eventually stay I just it's brand new and yep so I'm just going to add just a tad bit of glue to the back of that so that way it stays and just kind of put it there I know my hands probably in the way I'm sorry sorry I'm sorry Miss Barbara says she's new to your channel and love your project it's beautiful Thank you. This is so different for me. I mean, you can ask Miss Nellie, you can ask Miss um, Tiffany. I, I've been making floral type pieces for a minute now, and I have never worked with this color palette. This is so different for me. I'm, I was a little apprehensive about it at first. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? How am I going to tie everything in? Is it going to work? <laughs> But I think it came out quite nicely. Um, what's up? When you're done, flip it around so they can see it. Flip it around? Yeah, like what do it's you mean? upside. Well, that's that's what I was asking you earlier. Yeah. If it was upside down or not, and you said it wasn't. Oh my goodness! I'm sorry, guys. I can't believe we were upside down this whole time. We even. I thought we troubleshot that earlier. I thought we already did that. I'm so sorry. I really wish I hadn't, or I had, yeah. Anyways, um, here it is. I think it's pretty much done. I might add like a quote to it. I didn't really like this metal quote because the brown just didn't really match. If you can see, like that just doesn't really match with the color palette. So it didn't work out quite right. So. But I hope you can see it. Is everyone seeing this canvas okay? I know some of it might be out of the screen, but I kind of wanted to give you um, more of an up-close look, I guess, at what it looks like with all the different pieces and the texture. Is it good, bud? Uh, you can see right there. I mean, I, I mean, obviously yeah. they're not oh, going to yeah. be able to see the whole piece. Sorry. But it's, yeah, it's good. So you can kind of see the whole piece there. I'm so sorry it was upside down this whole time, guys. I had no idea it was upside down. I thought we had configured everything for it to be, yeah, right side up for you Ms. guys. Miss Nelly said upside down was perfectly fine, but uh, Miss Martha said, wow, that puts a new perspective on it. Whoa. It does, doesn't it? It does. I'm so sorry. I, I thought we had it all figured out. But here it is finished product. Like I said, I might add a quote to it. I even had some Tim Holtz quotes out, but I am obviously, I have pretty much ran out of time. So how many minutes do we have left? Six. We do have six minutes left. Okay. Well, maybe I can add a Tim Holtz quote still because I really didn't like the brown of, of that. So I'm just going to leave the canvas like this for you guys. I hope it's kind of in the middle there. Um, it's Nelly Sue. I don't know if you don't stop apologizing. <laughs> I'm going to stop apologizing. All right. I wonder if there is a quote in here that has something about flying or 
let your spirit fly, anything like that. Normally I would have this picked out already and I wouldn't be fumbling through these on the side of my camera, which you can't see. Oh wait, with brave wings she flies. Wait, let me put it that way since you guys are upside down. With brave wings she flies. What do you guys think about that one? Kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, so to tie that in, since it's white and it's black, what I would do is I would take more of this brown texture paste here I'm kind of coming up with this literally on the fly. Um, and I'm going to take some of that brown texture paste and I'm going to go around the edges of it to people, tie it in. People say perfect quote, perfect quote. Yes, perfect. Like it, it's stunning. Perfect. perfect, perfect. We yes. did it. <laughs> okay. cool. He did it. He did it. Again. And then, I'm see, I'm just taking my um, spongers, one of those words, I'm not real sure. Um, Miss Wendy asks, where are the sentiments from? The, the, uh, um, the, the sentiments are from Tim Holtz Ideology. I'm not sure which pack this is. A uh, small chipboard, chipboard elements, a lost and fountain noted. I don't know. Oh, wait. It is chipboard quotes, and it's called theories. Theories. So that is the um, name of the chipboard quotes. So what do you guys think? Do you think the quote should go like up here? Maybe I'm trying to keep it at, at your view. Um, up here, see, it's not really going to fit there. Um, down here, no, I don't think I like it down there. Um, I don't know, I kind of like it right there. What do you guys think? I kind of like it there, or is that just too much right there? I don't think it's gonna. She uh, said, Where you held it first. Where I held it, so I think it was right there, right? Wasn't it down in the bottom corner? Down in the bottom corner, coming out of lower oval, yeah. That's, oh, right, yeah, right there. Okay, then I would just need to take some cardboard and put some cardboard on the back so that way it um, sits there. nice and flat. Oh, I didn't glue these guys on, did I? I just put them there. That's funny. That's so funny. So I'm going to take some of that excess glue so it doesn't sploosh out and put it on the same exact gear that's on the other side and put it underneath there. Funny, funny, funny. Love it. Okay, so there we go. So now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to layer the cardboard. How many minutes do we have left? Like two? Three. Three? All right. So I'm just going to take some of this cardboard. I'm actually going to cut off a few pieces because I'm going to have to layer it because of the space between here. So do do. Um, miss, um, I'm going blank right now because I'm getting a little uh, <laughs> Um, Miss, who's next, buddy? I, I'm for, I'm going blank right now because oh, no, I'm. It's all right. Let me look. Real quick. I'm a little it's, uh, Nikki. frantic. It's Nikki. 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 Sorry, Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> Miss Nikki is next, and like I said, her link is in my description box. Should be towards the top of the description box. That's where you're gonna. That's where you are going to be heading next, is Miss Nikki. And I hope this isn't too much. Because then I feel like this might be too much cardboard. Um, Disorganized craft that they are. I think they might be. I think it, or I think this might be too much. Let me see. And then I have to put a little bit of glue, obviously, on that side. And then we'll be good. All right, we've, got, we've got a minute. A minute. Okay. Okay. I think that worked out perfectly. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty good. <laughs> Miss Nellie tried to link um, Miss Nikki and accidentally put our tip jar link. Oh. Don't cover flies. Okay. okay, there we go. What do you think, guys? Do you think that quote works pretty good there? It's upside down for me, but I think it works really good there myself. Thank you so much for the um, Suggestion. Su suggestion. I think it was a little too much up here. Like there was just so much going on on this in this area kind of in general. So I think that worked out really well. I think it worked out really well. 
All right, I really appreciate everyone coming by. I hope you enjoyed the Canvas creation. I'm sorry it was upside down the whole time. I wish I'd have realized that sooner. I'm so sorry. Um, and I will see you guys next time. And ha have fun. I am so grateful you're here. You guys have a good night, and everybody, please stay safe. I know the world is kind of crazy right now. Um, to the, thank you, Tiffany, and thank you to all of our fabulous sponsors for, for sponsoring this wonderful event. Y'all have a good night.